Good morning. Today we read Luke 10, 25 through 37, the parable of the Good Samaritan. Behold, a lawyer stood up to put him to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What's written in the law? How do you read it? He answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. Jesus said, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he fell among robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him he had compassion. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, I will repay you when I come back. Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? He said, The one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said to him, You go and do likewise. Who is our neighbor? It's the people around us, right? The people who live next door, the people across the street, the ones down the road whose names we're not sure of, you know. But they're the neighbors. They they live in the neighborhood. And they're our neighbors by virtue of proximity to us. Well, who is this man's neighbor? Remember, the road from Jerusalem to Jericho is is very big change in elevation. So when it says going down to Jericho, it really means going down a big hill, uh, down through the mountain. And um, it's a great place for the bandits and robbers to hide. And when they see this guy, they beat him up and take whatever he has, leaving him half dead. Well, the priest comes by and the priest says, oh, I can't bother him. I can't touch him. He's unclean and keeps going. The Levite does the same thing. I, I can't, I can't, I can't mess with him, and he goes by. But the Samaritan, ooh, yucky Samaritan. Samaritans are the enemies. It's like if Jesus did this in our day, he'd say, you know, a communist came by. We'd say, ooh, communists don't care for us, but this one does. You know, one time I was in a car full of people, and we were trying to find a a certain store. In a, in a city, and we couldn't find it. It wasn't where we thought it was, and there, it, we were there, but there was no, no particular store of that particular variety. So I jumped out of the car, and there was a couple of men standing on the sidewalk. I said, hey, how you doing? Do y'all know where so-and-so store is? And they said, no. So I went in this establishment and asked them, and they tell me, oh, yeah, it's three blocks away. Go this way, and you know, you'll get there. So thank you. Got back in the car. Other people in the car were stunned that I had gotten out and talked to these black people. You know, they're just people, and they might have known the answer. Well, I was risking death, and I thought, now this is ridiculous. This is a completely ridiculous way to react to people. They could be our neighbors. They could live down the street, across the street. They happen to live in this city. Uh, So what? It's how we treat people that matters. And Jesus is saying, you know, who's the neighbor, the one who showed mercy to the guy? And then he says to the lawyer, you go and do the same. You go and show mercy to people. You be a neighbor to people. Don't be sitting up counting, you know, who who deserves my friendship and love and concern, but who is it that I could show some mercy, love, concern to or for? Who could, who could I do that with, too? Pick your preposition. Um, and, and so that's what happens here. 
um, the lawyer is told to go and do likewise. And we should go and do the same. We should look, when we see somebody who's hurt, who's suffering, who's in need, we shouldn't walk by on the other side of the road like we don't see them. We should help them. That's kind of obvious, isn't it, really? But we get all these prejudices. Well, I can't help them because they might, they might take it and buy drugs. So what? You know, you're not responsible for what they do with the money you give them. Uh, but they might not spend it the way they should spend it. Well, then you're putting a whole bunch of shoulds on people. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Um, you should just help people. And however you help the people is a good thing. That's what Jesus is telling us to do. So go and do likewise. Hmm? Okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday.